Hello everyone and welcome to Lawrence Plays and today we're doing some more GTA Manhunt and okay this is a sports car. I wondered what I was just wondering what it was cuz I don't didn't recognize it. It's not one I've seen um or not one I've driven. It looks kind of like a I don't know, kind of Chrysler from the front. Um it's not not the crossfire though. It's got the wrong rear for that. Anyway, that's sort of um kind of beside the point. We are as ever playing Manhunt checkpoint and I'm playing the prey and I'm going to try and get all of the checkpoints because that's how the game works. So, peer entrance. Oh, I haven't done a, um, I haven't changed my clothes. And by clothes, I mean face. Uh, should we get dressed as Dennis the Menace? No, it sticks out a bit. Let's try and pick something that's vaguely subtle. Yeah, that'll do. Especially if we're going down to the beach for the first one. Okay. Right. So, as I say, now I'm in a cunning disguise, I have to go and try and get all of the checkpoints. And I have to do so before the hunters um, find me, stop me, and try to kill me. Um, so, I did, I did quite well in the last run, actually. I, I, I managed to, uh, to finish and, and actually win the game, which is um, still happens rarely enough that it's still quite exciting and novel when I do. Now, there's a the checkpoint down there. I'm not going to go straight for it, partly because I don't think I've really given the hunters enough time to sort of collect themselves, partly because I think it would be more entertaining to try and do this slightly differently. And I was thinking that next time there was a, um, a pier entrance one, I was going to try and take it on foot from the pier itself, because there's often quite a lot of pedestrians around there. And since clothes and character model I've just changed it to are fairly sort of... He looks kind of like a surfery type. He's the sort of person you might, you wouldn't be too surprised to see on the in the pier beach sort of general area. So those bollards are not drive-through bollards; those are drive-round bollards. So if I drive over here, there's one of them up there on the um, on the pier, I think. Because I don't think I suspect you don't get cars there. But I'm going to try going up there anyway. Actually, no, you do get cars there because that's part of the um, that's the way to get to the car park on the pier. So, we'll go up here slowly and have a quick look around. No, that's not a that's not a hunter. So it is just a car driving around in the um, on the pier area. So the question is, do people? Yes, people do actually walk across this bridge. Good, because I was wondering because you definitely you see people on the pier, you see people on the beach, but I wasn't sure whether you saw people on foot leaving the uh, leaving the pier, going in this sort of direction. So. Yeah, I was um, a, a little bit concerned that I might find there's just nobody else up here, and then I'd really stick out as being sort of the only person heading towards the uh, checkpoint. It's a bit of a trek to get up there. Um, maybe I should have come up here and brought a car. Bringing a car from on the pier would also be quite a good way of taking it, because they would again they wouldn't really expect that because you don't have you don't tend to have cars. Well, you can't drive you can't drive onto the pier. Um, except by doing sort of funny things off-road. Nice my mouse didn't weird out. Okay, they're shooting people. That's not ideal because that means the pedestrians are all running in the other direction. But I'll um I was far enough away I think that maybe it maybe they maybe I shouldn't shouldn't be suspicious if I carry on heading in this way. I don't know. I was also wondering whether it be a good whether a good way to take this checkpoint would be from underneath the pier. Um, I don't know how far out the checkpoint sticks, though. Whether I'd be able to take it from just underneath this road or from the, the off-road bit next to it or not. So I'm just going to try walking towards it now. If there's any more shooting, that would suit me quite nicely. Um, especially if it happens when I'm almost at the pier. because uh, uh, Almost at the checkpoint. Because then I could start running. Um, and I could run through the checkpoint and then just sort of keep going. And hopefully that wouldn't be too suspicious. That's um, Paul getting out of his car. I'm not sure why. He got straight back in again, though, so he's probably not about to shoot me. There's Tristan as well. <laughs> okay, I have given myself away, but I did also avoid certain death. Come on, where's the checkpoint? Take the checkpoint, take the checkpoint, take the checkpoint. Get in the car, get in the car, get in the car. My doors are all over the place. What's going on? There we go. Right, let's get out of here. This car is terrible, but 
Oh, and Paul's chasing him. Oh, and he's got a... Actually, well, he's got a fast car. He's got a Windsor. And he's actually not too bad a driver. So this may be... He's he's not so good at um, cornering, though, especially when he's not quite ready for it. So, yes, I think my best chance of escape is going to be taking lots of corners like this. Um, maybe if I go into the uh, canals area like this. Oh, this car's a bit wall wallowy. But it's doing better than his Windsor. I think. That's an F620, which... I mean, they like to shoot any F620s on sight. But maybe they've maybe they've got that out of their system by now. Because that was that was the sort of the running the running gag a week or two ago. It was that they would always shoot every F620 they saw. So maybe if I take this one, they'll um maybe they'll have maybe they'll have stopped hating on the F620 quite so much. Um I guess we'll find out. Well, that was a that was an interesting um interesting way to take the checkpoint, I think. It's um I'm quite impressed with my uh, my reactions there that I managed to leap over that fence as the as uh, oh, was it Paul as Paul's car was bombing towards me so uh, yeah that went surprisingly well I think I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with that uh, and then I don't know I don't, I'm not sure whether the way I actually took the checkpoint in the end was the smoothest I could have possibly done I was hoping that it would the um, the area around it would extend the area of the checkpoint would extend far enough that I was going to be able to take it without having to go up onto the road. Sadly, that was not the case. At least I don't think it was. I wasn't, I'm not sure I was 100% pressing the right buttons then. So, um, yeah, I don't know. They've sort of spotted my character model at this point, of course. That's the problem with doing anything out of the car, is if you get seen, they definitely see your character model. But hopefully, inside the car, he looks sufficiently different. Um, yeah, he's still a guy with fairly long hair, but I don't know, is he that recognizable? And a white t-shirt. But I don't know if he's that recognizable from what they just what they'll have seen. We'll see. I mean what what can I do apart from just carry on and try and take it? So yeah, if I loop up here and take the second well, the third left if I count this one that's right in front of me. Um then head down there and turn right through the checkpoint. I think that's the best way to take it. There is shooting happening behind me. People panicking. Let's take that as an excuse to put my foot down a little bit. I don't see any hunters behind me though, so that's that's quite nice. Switch to this lane so that nobody does the stupid trying to overtake me thing. Uh, I'm a little bit far back from the line, but it's close enough. Yeah, there are definitely cars panicking around here because cars shouldn't drive like that, and they don't. I think that even in GTA, I think they don't generally do that unless they've been panicked by player shooting or players running people, or basically by people breaking the law and being violent, <laughs> which is fairly standard operating procedure for the hunters. Yes, that was another one of those um, Cadillac type um, sports car -y things I, I saw earlier. Can't use that though because it's a sports car. This, on the other hand, that I'm in at the moment is a coupe, which I am allowed to use and can, have, can merrily take checkpoints in as, as long as I want. Right, there's the uh, there is the checkpoint. I can see oh I can see both green hunters in it at the moment. Um, oh and a pink hunter as well. It's a red light. I guess in that case I'll stop them. Stop the line. Um, they're not attacking F620s on site. That's nice to know. Can I have a green light, please? But I don't want to go that way anymore. Okay, let's go straight forward then in that case, since the two hunters in Windsor's, which are the fast ones, have just gone off to the um, the right. Uh, carrying along here. Yes, there doesn't seem to be anybody following me. Good. Because if you come up here, the nice thing about escaping this way is that you can drop onto the highway and then just be gone. And because of the way the rubber band system works on this, if I go this way at high speed for a, a distance, I can stretch the elastic band out and hopefully, we've made some changes to how the circle actually works recently, so this may or may not be the case anymore. But if I drive this way at speed and then suddenly change direction, 
it will hopefully ping the um, the circle off in an unexpected direction. Or it it'll make the, the circle seriously overshoot. That's the hope anyway. It'll probably then bounce off and come right back towards me again. But I think it's still worthwhile nonetheless. Now I suspect that Mark has. No, I want that car. Oh, fine, I'll take that one over there. Um, I suspect Mark has identified, will have noticed my car when I took, this, uh, when I took that last checkpoint in. So I don't want to have another. I don't want to stick with the F620, even though it is it's a fairly good car. I'm going to switch back to something a little more, um, a little different. Um, <clears throat> it's still a coupe, so it's still good. And, it's still got a good turn of speed. There's quite a lot of coupes around today, actually. It's nice. I'm, um, I'm enjoying the cut, the uh, spawn set today. There's lots and lots of good cars around. So yeah, he'll have, he'll have seen the, uh, the, the khaki green F620. So they're going to be suspicious of that. And that, and now it probably is going to be open season on F620 drivers again, unfortunately. Um, so I'm going to use this one, this car instead. So I'm quite a long way from Life Invader, unfortunately. My um, my fleeing across the city there before I knew where the next checkpoint was has taken me quite a long way from where I want to go. But um, well, we'll just have to just have to make our way back across, and not too quickly because, as you can see, there's a hunter right there, um, and they're going to be suspicious if I do if I drive off too quickly. So let's try and behave. But there's another hunter there. Right. Did I run that red light? I'm not quite sure. Are they following me? I'm not quite sure. What is that car doing? And is it attracting hunters? Suspicions. No, but apparently I am. Tristan appears to be dressed as Princess Leia today. I'm going to call this a chase because I think he's, yes, he's following me. This time I'm going to go over here flat out. Because last time I took that jump, which was earlier this evening, and I think it's a couple of times last week as well, I braked sharply on the, on the, as I was coming off the top of it. And that's quite nice because it, it makes makes the uh, hunters likely to overshoot. Um, oops, a bit of a slide. It's a lot of a slide. Oh, this, what am I, am I is, is, is this a jackal that I've got this time? I can't remember. Uh, whatever it is, it's a bit slidey when you try and take corners at speed. Ooh. Oh no, no, oh, phew, that was stupid. I was going to try and break and go around that corner, but I braked too soon. Uh, no, too late, oh, too something anyway. I didn't brake at the right time, and I ended up just slowing down and then carrying on in a straight line, which is a really bad idea. Tristan's better at the um, handbrake turns than me. So he seems to be, which is how he manages to get his boat of a Windsor around um, corners reasonably, reasonably effectively. That's not Mike, because he's not playing at the moment. Oh, that's Paul. Oh, crikey. All right, let's go this way. Let's go somewhere, anyway. It's anywhere, just somewhere. Right, there we go. <sighs> they nearly pinned me then, but that hopefully will take them a minute or two to untangle themselves and get moving again. So if I go down here, if I have sort of three right turns in a row, and then maybe a left just to sort of break up the pattern. Is that going to have helped? Yes, yes it is. I could now make a run for the checkpoint, but no, I don't like to do that. I like to uh, to give the hunters a, at least a, make make it feel like I give them a little bit of a chance. I'm very tempted to think that tour bus, but all that <laughs> all that garbage truck. No, um, but I think that'd be a bad idea. That. Um, what is it? What's the, what's the Lamborghini 4x4 called? Four, 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 four. Oh Sweet dear. Jesus. Well, there goes Mark. I don't think you saw me do this though. And, and Pete as well. So, two hunters drove past me while I was busy stealing this car. I think Pete has spotted it though. Spotted the uh, the crime in progress though. So I'm... Um, yeah, gonna... Just get out of here for now. Um, and try not to uh, be noticeable. And certainly not go straight for the checkpoint. What's that? Is that a... No, it's one of the um, the ones I said I didn't want to use. Or, could, sorry, I said I couldn't use because it's a sports car. Let's take that Ruiner. Is it a Ruiner? Or is it... Yeah, it is a Ruiner. Let's take this Ruiner instead. Um, it's a different car, which is the most important thing at this point. 
Um, and a Ruiner is he's kind of okay. It's a, it's a muscle car. It's got the standard muscle car problems of making rather a lot of noise whenever you touch the accelerator and um, not being quite as fast as it should be and then and sort of struggling with corners a little bit. But it's not too bad. I'm um, reasonably reasonably happy to drive it. And the checkpoint is only just there. Even if it has got, uh, I think that's Mark by the colour, parked in it. <laughs> Barged out of it by Paul. So the hunters can repair their cars by sitting in a checkpoint for 10 seconds without moving. Um, of course, if, a hunt, if another, if you if you do move, whether that's sort of your own fault or somebody barging into you like that, then the, t then t the 10 seconds get reset. So um, Mark's probably mildly miffed with Paul for that, but um, never mind, he can deal with it. Okay, that was... I don't know whether that was subtle or not. Let's try getting this away. I don't know how much attention Paul was paying there. Because if he was paying attention, then the car that went through the check... There was an obvious car that went through the checkpoint just before it got taken. So he's going to be suspicious of me. Um, but I think I managed to get in some turns pretty quickly there. And I don't see them behind me. I do think that does make me want to change my car again, though. Because I was... Um... um yeah, going to be rather obvious. Let's what? take another when? steel car. Thank you. Ah, There's oh, a big dent in the door. It's just, no, it's just the shape of the door. Right. Okay. Next one. Next one. This is going quite well. I'm. Um, I seem to be playing quite well today. I, I know that's going to be famous last word, and I'm going to get caught in the almost immediately now. But uh, well, we'll see how we'll see. Green light. We'll see how it goes. So origin. That's somewhere up to, towards the north of the city I, it's called origin because it's basically the zero zero point on the um, GTA 5's coordinate system which isn't that helpful for remembering where it is but I've, I've sort of learned I did think I originally thought it was somewhere down um, near uh, near higher lower in the middle of the, which is more or less the middle of the city but no it's a bit further north than that it's not in the middle of the island by any stretch of the imagination but it is um, yeah it's in a, a, a middle for some sort of some reason or another. <laughs> Not it really matters exactly where it is. It's it's up there. You can see on the mini map where it's where it's, where it's pointing to. So, yeah. Um, I don't know why I'm sitting here at the traffic lights, just sort of waiting. Um, oop, probably because I'll end up t-boning a hunter if I just go. But never mind. Pull up behind this. I think that's another prairie. Used one of them in the last run. It, it, it did okay. Bugging me now that I can't remember what the um, the Lamborghini 4x4 that I'm fairly sure this is this is based on is called. Um, hi. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Where am I? Tra There's my traffic lights over there. Okay, well, this is sort of why I try not to run traffic lights too much because every so often there's a hunter where you don't expect them to be, and if you're bimbling merrily through a pass through a red traffic light then it's a bit of a giveaway that it's you <laughs> oh there's green and there's a Tristan as well behind me let's hope he's not paying very much attention or not suspicious of this car any or just just leaves me alone for any reason he wants I mean, I'm not really too fussy he's pulled up in front of me again oh no no he's gone he's going quite slowly though He's sort of lurking in the area. This worries me. Makes me feel like he's identified me. Yeah, he's definitely identified me. Thought so. Yeah, he was doing the. Um, I'll just bimble around vaguely in circles while I try. While my friends try it. Thing, which um, he quite enjoys doing. I think. Um, <laughs> It, it can be quite effective, to be fair. So, I mean, I can totally see why he does it. Oh, that was a badly executed... Ooh, actually, maybe not. <laughs> okay. They haven't seen me go up here. Let's just hide here for a, a moment. Um, make sure they're not coming up here. Give them a chance to... Oh. <laughs> okay, there goes Mark off the jump. Right, so maybe you did see me come up here and you just assumed I was, wasn't going to hang around up here. Which is sensible to be fair. I mean it's not the sort of place you'd expect me to hang around. But now they've all gone. I'm going to head back down here again. Now if anyone sees me coming out of here it's going to be rather obvious that it's me. But I'm going to hope they don't. I haven't changed vehicles which is possible. Oh and I've picked up some damage as well so I probably should 
However, I am so close to the checkpoint that I'm just going to give it a, sh a shot. Because this, this vehicle does seem to be vaguely competent. No, not that button. Goodness sake. Why am I so incapable of using a controller? I'm taking a checkpoint. Jeez. <laughs> I mean, it's because I'm a very much a PC gamer at heart. I'm used to a mouse and keyboard. So having only having only having sort of ten buttons to get confused about is uh, is difficult for me apparently. Uh, right. I definitely do need to change vehicles. I could use that truck next to me, but no, trucks are trucks never go well in this game for me. I've, I've discovered. I always end up um, expecting them to be sort of resilient and be able to barge cars out of the way and not get affected when when the, when the um, hunters try and pit me but it's never it's never the case they just they're just dreadful now I'm not being no not able to get out of the car there we go let's have this one instead so this I think will do with a new car shopping center jump I've just come from there <laughs> now I kind of want to take that over the jump should we find out if I can I mean I'm sure I can let's give it a try I think I'm not going to have much luck with subtlety at the moment because they've had a good look at my character model. They've seen me enough times. You've seen how many times Tristan's pulled up in front of me and gone, aha, that's him. Um, I think it's twice so far. Um, and that's more times than I like that sort of thing to happen. So if I come down here and let, yeah, let's just, let's just, it's called shopping center jump. Let's take it over, the, take the jump. I'm in a felon. It's a reasonably quick car. I reckon I've got a decent chance of escaping if we, when we get into a chase. And I say when, because we will get into a chase if I, if I take the, the checkpoint but via the jump, because I'll be so, so obvious. Oh, and there's Pete heading down towards it, and Tristan as well. Maybe I won't be visible then. I mean, it, oh, and, and, and Mark. I was, I was sort of wondering if Paul was going to appear as well. Oh, is Mark going to go up the jump? No, he's going to park in the... In the junction. Hopefully, he hasn't recognised me from here. I'm a reasonable distance away. Oh I'm getting barged like that. Just, dear, dear. Okay, so he's trying to block the tunnel there, either for me going in or out, perhaps. I mean, that's a bit cheeky, but sure. And it's far enough away from the checkpoint that I don't feel too. I don't feel that he's misbehaving too much by blocking it. Um. I guess I'm just going to go past... Oh, no, no, he's going through it. Okay. In that case, I am going to take the jump. Right, I've got my finger on the right button this time, so I'll... Uh, where's the jump? There's the jump. There's the checkpoint. There we go. I think that's taken, a successfully taken checkpoint. I wonder if any of them were watching. <laughs> it's called Shopping Centre Jump. I feel it has to be taken from the jump at least once in my... Uh, in my illustrious GTA 5 career. <laughs> so, yeah. Happy with that. Okay, let's have one that's down towards the, um, down somewhere in ghetto or airport or something like that, since I'm heading that way now. Where are we going to get next? Where are we going to get? We'll get onto the right side of the road. I kind of don't want to go too far, because then it's going to do something like that and turn me, turn me all the way back up to the hills. There isn't really a highway going. What's the best one? Right, so normally, I say normally, the last two times we've had a hills crossroads um, checkpoint, I've taken it by getting out of my car and going off road. Now, because this is the last checkpoint, it's going to be difficult to run away after doing that, so that's not such a great tactic. And with the way the circle's working now, and the fact that I've done that twice before and fairly recently, they're going to be suspecting it, so you know I wouldn't actually be surprised if they were um, if there were hunters in the um, in the gardens of some of the houses around there. So I'd like to be able to get up there and and do a recon, have a bit of a look around, see and see where the hunters are. But I don't know how I can do that. It's not there's not a great deal of visibility up there. In the assumption they saw me in, the, they in that car, I'm going to take this one. That looks different. Oh, it's a sports car. Urgh. 
Maybe I am going to have to take it on foot then. <laughs> Unless I can find another car to switch into. Maybe I should have kept, I should have kept that fella now, that was quite good. Because this, yeah, the, the rules are, in, in case there's anyone who's fairly new to the channel and hasn't listened to my uh, patter before, where I talk about all of the rules for this game. <laughs> one of the rules the, uh, for this is that I'm not allowed to... I'm not, I don't want to jump out of cars when they're moving, that's just stupid. Um, this is a joke. I'm not allowed to take um, take checkpoints in a sports or supercar. And not only am I not allowed to, from a sort of a, that's oh, the rules, shit. therefore behave yourself. Oh, kidnap someone. Get out of the car. There we go. Um, not only is it the rules in a sort of obey the rules and behave yourself, the game literally won't let me take a checkpoint if I'm in a, um, a sports car or a supercar. So I needed to drop down to something a bit a bit worse. Um, like this um, this Enus, whatever it was called. Um, it's an SUV, which is, in fact, worse. Um, it's not the ideal vehicle for hurtling around in the hills. But never mind, we'll uh, use it anyway. Can I drive into this? Will these gates open for me? Will the gate make a push? They will. Right. So. I'm going to hide here. Turn my lights off. Turn my lights off. I'm going to try and look like... I'm going to try and learn to drive. There we go. I'm going to try and look like a car that's just parked in, an, in the... Um, in the driveway. Lights are off. Good. I could get out of the car. Because I want them to think that I've got out of the car here and I'm heading up on foot. Now, there's Mark lurking around nearby. Maybe if I duck, it'll make me slightly less obvious. Okay, so I'm, I'm hoping that they're going to think that I'm... On, I've got out of the car. I'm going heading up that way on foot because that's what I've done the last couple of times. Okay, let's. That's enough. They've, they've, they've cleared off a bit now. Let's let's go and head up to water like this. I'm trying to be subtle. I don't know how well it's going. It seems to be going okay so far. There's there's Mark. They are sort of kind of following me. Let's go this way, and I'll put my foot down. And I'm already up in the hills, which gives me a bit of an advantage for the for the uh, the run, the the, uh, the final hunt, fleeing bit. Um, although uphill, I don't seem to drive quite as quickly, but it's a heavy car, and you know it's, it's uphill, so what do you expect? Um, I don't think they're following me, so I think if I just keep going this way, what the hell? Let's take this jump because it's there. That wasn't a jump; that was a rock. But it's had a similar enough effect. <laughs> All right. That's got me some distance. Let's go this way. Whee! Don't blow up. Oh no! <laughs> That's interesting. I don't know if we count that as a win or a loss. It almost looks like it's coming from the pier somehow. It's a good ha! Yeah, that would be a nice tactic for him to go down through the um, old starting car park. Up the stairs there and then go down through the pier. Wait, someone just <laughs> jumped off a bridge. It's, it's here. I'm well, pretty sure. Do AIs jump out of the way of cars? Yeah, they dive out of the way. The ledges. Oh. oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Someone just jumped over here out of the way of me. Yeah, white top. Uh, white top. If yeah, you're driving top towards them, then yeah. I saw the movement. I assumed you hit. He's taking it. He's, He's taking, taking it. it. Are any of you in, in like a Hursty type of view, by the way? We're in brightly coloured cars. We should be pretty obvious. Uh, we're all using the same car.
Uh, I've got him, I think, heading north from the checkpoint. Uh, car is driving very strangely. Black sedan. Uh, we're now heading east across the main um, road thing. Stand by. Nope, never mind, disregard. Now he's taking checkpoint. Anyone had any this, luck? This one. Uh, shopping centre heading west through it over the job. Straight, going straight on. Straight west from shopping centre. Uh, three heading five back. ways. Uh, heading towards the checkpoint. Good heading. Mod. Uh, turn right. Uh, where are we? Passing the horse statue, heading northeast. What's he in? Uh, black uh, coupe of some sort. Uh, low car park, heading east from low car parks. Approaching north side of the shopping centre. Uh, turning down, oh, pa the other side of LS Customs shopping centre. I nearly told Mike he was right there in front of him. There you go, Paul. That's the one. There we go. I'll pin him with my massive bow. <laughs> Sorry. I helped, did it? Next right. Did anyone see him? No. Uh, yes. Uh, going north, I think, through the to the hills. Uh, golf course maybe. Right, I'm on the eastern side of golf course now. I think he's ducked in somewhere to hide and change car. Yeah, I lost him here. He's barely moving, so I think he's on fire. Unbelievable. Said probably hiding out somewhere. He likes to do that. Check the bushes. <laughs> I was just repairing. <laughs> so was I. I didn't mean to. Sorry. <laughs> hey, there's a dog here. That was a pet. Hey, dog. Okay, let's get an idea of where oh, he is. He is he's moving very, very slowly towards the checkpoint. Hello, dog. Please, he's in the help. He's taking it. Okay. Oh, sorry, I'm coming. He has got to be in that truck. North side of shopping centre. He or heading up the west side of shopping centre. Right on the edge of the circle. It's the same character model. To your right, Mark. The one you just drove past. Uh, black SUV Heavy. going through a tunnel. Yeah. Um, sorry, I was straight on you up. Didn't see where he went. Uh, he crashed there as well. He's going uh, the ramp up, other side. Okay. 
Pass to you guys. Don't have eyes on him anymore, but... Uh, he was shopping center going through the jump. He's moving so slow. Because he's so close to this, I wouldn't be surprised if he does try and take it on foot. Yeah, and if you actually look how his circle is moving, the only road he can be on is the kind of main road across the middle, um, the shopping centre jump road. So that's the only trajectory that matches that arc path. Keep in mind he might be at the centre of the circle. Well, yeah, but it's the only road that goes in that direction. The, the, the circle's moving in the exact direction for the contour of that road. So now he'd be going down, according to this. Okay, let's see if this works. I don't know the, log I don't know the algorithm you actually used to make the circles, so I'm assuming. What's the alternative? If he wasn't walking down this road towards us within this circle, he'd be down one of the roads to the right hand side and be coming from the bottom. So if he doesn't come down this road, he's got to go from he's got to approach from the south. Okay. Got it, silver car, just done the D jump. Heading south. That's west, you'll have your driving. That's what I meant. Didn't see where he went though. The well, final one is the one he takes on foot, right? <laughs> he could do, yeah. He'll probably try, he's cocky enough. Well, at least in the videos, he's always taken that on foot. Wait, hold on. Are we all just parked in the middle? <laughs> the plan to create a roadblock. <laughs> I mean, if we knew which way he was going to come in, that wouldn't be a bad idea. But there's about five ways to get to that checkpoint. Including off-road. Yeah, this is not really... Not in car. I'm taking it. Oh look, the player's taking the final check for one. Um, oh, the final hundred. Okay, so that's how this works. Okay, right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm heading north. I don't have much hopes of being able to catch up with him. Give me how much my head starts with that. If he's going, it's fine. I have not seen anyone who's suspicious enough to actually chase, so... Oh, no, no, no. Aha! <laughs> yes! What? Somehow. Who? Did someone get that? No, he just... He presumably flipped over, and so... Oh, auto-killed by the car. <laughs> well, um, it says Prey wins. Yeah, but you <laughs> died first. I know, but it said Prey wins. <laughs>